Hi guys, I'm Nasal and welcome back to my channel. Um, today's lighting is kind of dark and dim because I think if you click on this video, you've seen the title and you know what it's about. It's about the paranormal and I'm not one of those like paranormal channels. So obviously it's not one of those videos today. It's more of a story time because I feel like I need people's opinions because I don't know what to think. A lot of people think that the paranormal, I'm just getting goosebumps now. <laughs> um, a lot of people are very skeptical when it comes to the paranormal. And to be honest, like I do believe in it, but I don't really acknowledge it, if you know what I mean. Like I will completely believe if someone told me something but the thing is that I don't go looking for it I don't like to mess with these things I know it's there and I do believe in it but I don't play with it I don't go looking for it I don't you know I don't like I'm not curious enough to go experience it okay I don't know how it's very hard to describe but anyways I feel like it's Halloween season and it's a good time to tell the story. I am a very logical person. Everything needs to have a reason behind it. This was like the only logical explanation I could give on why this happened. But I'm very curious to know what people think about it and so that's why I'm doing this video because I want you guys to comment below what your hypothesis is because everyone that I have told was like, <gasps> what? No. Enough with the chit chat and enough with like the suspense. Let's get started. Um, I'm actually really nervous <laughs> and my hands were like clamped together and stuff. This happened when I was in Bulgaria. And if you haven't watched it, watch my vlog because it is super fun and um, the rest of the trip was brilliant. So the hotel in Bulgaria that we stayed at was by the beach. I would say it was kind of like a budget hotel, um, but it was still comfortable. You know, the staff were really nice. Breakfast was really good and stuff like that. So when I went there, I only brought one set of pajamas. So I'm going to show it to you here so you have an idea. This is my pajamas and it's a very dark maroon like purple burgundy whatever color. It's a very dark purple um, and it also came with a set of pants like shorts right here also really dark really cute it is like my favorite set of pajamas it's from primark it's super cute basically i wore the set of pajamas every night and every morning before i leave i would take them off and i would either just throw them on the bed or leave them by the table side i and i always do this without remembering that there is housekeeping so whenever housekeeping would come in, they would either put my pajamas back on the bed where it was or they would put it on the bedside table or they'll just put it on like the little desk in front of the bed. And the thing about this hotel is that it's really budget so they won't change your sheets every day. They will change it like once in two days and usually they'll just make the bed. But then when they do change the sheets, they will like change the mattress sheets and put the mattress sheets on for you but then when it comes to the duvet you have to like put it in yourself i know it's hilarious i find it hilarious so this one day i came back from like the beach or something and i saw that they had changed the sheets so i was like oh, okay we have new sheets but we need to put it ourselves so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now so i was putting on the duvet cover and stuff and uh, and then basically i made the bed and then after that i just went about with the day because it was like not nighttime yet and then I came home after dinner I think I came back and I took a shower and I came out and I was like oh, okay I'm gonna put my pajamas on so then I was like looking around for my pajamas and usually it's on the bed then I'm like oh okay I just put the duvet sheets on so I didn't see it when I was doing that so it's on the bed it's not on the bedside table where is it I asked my boyfriend, I was like, have you seen my pajamas? Did you take it away? Did you put it in the cupboard or something? He was like, no, I didn't. I haven't seen it. 
So I literally ransacked the entire room. I opened the cupboard. I pulled out ev like all my clothes. I looked everywhere, high and low. Um, I looked under the beds. I looked under the pillows. I looked everywhere. Because we booked the room late, they didn't give us a queen size bed. So it was two single beds that we pushed together. So there's a crack in the middle. <laughs> and so I pulled it apart too to see if it had fallen in between the crack. The amount of jokes. Um, nothing. So literally, I didn't see it anywhere. I opened. He was like, did you put it in your suitcase? I opened my suitcase. It wasn't in there. I looked on the desk. It wasn't. We keep the desk relatively neat. So obviously, it's not there. And you can see how dark this is. It's not hard to find because it's so like dark. Didn't find it. He was like, is it on the balcony? Did you wash it? And like, it's on the rails i'm like i don't wash it like it wouldn't be out there in the first place and i would remember if i did because he was like what if it fell off the balcony or anything and then so our most logical reason was housekeeping took it 99.99 percent .99 sure housekeeping took it when they took out the sheets they changed it and lumped it together and went to take to wash so that's what i thought and i was furious <laughs> i was like this is my favorite pajamas. If they don't give it back to me, like, I'll be so mad. At this time, it was about 10, 11 p.m. So we went down and obviously housekeeping is not around, but we did go to the reception and we asked if they had seen like anything. So my boyfriend is Bulgarian and he was speaking to the lady in Bulgarian. So obviously he conversed with them. She said that nothing had come through and usually if something had come through, they would like notify them, notify reception. Usually that's how it works. And obviously it's 10 p.m., 11 p.m. They won't know that anything had come in until the morning because they don't wash it at night. We actually knew where they would hang washed sheets in the hotel on these lines at the back of the hotel. So me and my boyfriend walked to the back to see if they had hung anything up. Maybe they accidentally washed it and like, hung it up, they didn't know which room it belonged to and it was just there but there was nothing because, you know, like I said, they don't do their washing at night so I was like, oh my god, okay, fine, we'll just wait till tomorrow morning and I was like, positive that I was gonna get it back in the morning I wasn't that worried because I'm like, okay, well, if it is with them, for sure we'll get it back also because, like, I know they don't take stuff on purpose because my boyfriend's Bulgarian, they're Bulgarian, it's kind of like my people They they wouldn't do that so I don't have my pajamas to sleep so I was like never mind I'm just gonna go to sleep anyways and at this time I think it was about 12 midnight 1 a.m. so go back and we fall asleep and for some reason at 3 or 4 a.m. I wake up and bear in mind I am a heavy sleeper I can sleep through an earthquake and not wake up like seriously I don't usually wake up in the middle of the night unless I have to go to the bathroom, but that usually never happens. I fall asleep at like whatever time and then I literally wake up in the morning. I never wake up. And at this time, I woke up at like 3 or 4 a.m. And that was creepy, <laughs> that was my window. But I wake up at 3 or 4 a.m. And like, it's not the kind of jolt up awake kind of awake, it was kind of like a, huh? Like where, where, you, where you wake up and you can immediately fall back to sleep. Like that's the kind of waking up I was doing. So I kind of like wake up. And so I'm sleeping here, right? My boyfriend's on this side. And I'm kind of like facing here. But then for some reason I decide to turn to my left. And when I turn to my left, my pajamas is beside my head. Can you just imagine that? Like this thing, right, was a clump beside my head. And I look at it and I was like, what? And then I like whacked my boyfriend and he's like, huh? And I was like, look. And then he and then we're both like, Huh, okay, and then I just fall immediately back to sleep. And the thing is that when I wake up, I usually like am awake and then it's a little bit hard for me to fall asleep, but I literally fall back asleep. 
and then in the morning when I finally wake up like clear as day in the morning 8 a.m. I'm awake I look I wake back up and it's still by my head and then I register what it is and I was like what I literally I like pulled it apart and I was like this is my pajamas it, it was literally in a lump beside my head and my boyfriend was like well you could have tossed and turn and whatnot on the bed and it could have just like come out. I'm like, that is not possible. I ransacked the entire bed. Our sheets are white. Can you imagine white against this dark? It's so obvious that you can see it. And also I changed the sheets myself. I put in the duvet. I would have seen it. And like I he was like, oh, it might be under the pillow. I'm like, it's not pop. I flipped the pillows to check where it was. It was not there. He was like, maybe it was in the pillowcase. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Firstly, if housekeeping did see my pajamas, why would they stuff it in the pillowcase? Secondly, if this huge lump was in my pillowcase and it came out of the pillowcase, only a little bit will like stick out, right? How did the whole chunk come out and just stick beside my head? And then so we were thinking of like all the reasons like that could possibly happen and I was like okay what if housekeeping came into the middle of the night I was like that's not possible because the door of our room is really like iffy so it's not one of those key card things that you can tap and you can slowly open and come in and slowly close it that's not it doesn't work it's one of those pull and you have to hold it to use a key and twist it and lock it so you'll hear like the sound like it's really loud and also like if it's so jiggly and iffy you would hear it and I mean truth be told probably I won't wake up because I'm such a heavy sleeper but I know for a fact that my boyfriend will because he will wake up at like whatever noise is so I was like that's not possible you would have woken up secondly if housekeeping did come in they would sheepishly like put it on the desk in front but not beside my head because of a risk that I will wake up and see them, right? Like, no one, no one would do that. Why would you put it beside my head? That's not somewhere that you would put. It's so strange. And then I was like, I was like, the only logical explanation is a spirit took it and decided to return it and put it beside my head to just mess with me or to make it known that look I took it and now I've given it back I, I, lit I can't think of another reason for that to happen like can you guys give me some suggestions on what you can think so because every other reason that my boyfriend tried to reason out with me i can literally rebut and be like no but i did this no that's not possible because you know like i can't think of i literally i cannot think of another reason why would it be beside my head in a lump no one could have come in from the balcony we were on the fourth floor and which is the highest floor and we shut the doors like the balcony doors when we go to sleep no one no like really no one would come in because the reception and the staff people are so nice that if they did have it they would keep it and then in the morning when we go down they'll be like oh so sorry we have it and because they know he's bulgarian as well they wouldn't try these things like they would not come in and also because we slept about 12 and 1 and i woke up around 3 4 that's not much of a window of a time so for it to like reappear beside me that like freaks me out seriously help me comment below and tell me what you think because i am like i've been racking my brain so whatever it is i'm still really happy that i got these pa like pajamas back because if i didn't get them back honestly this wouldn't even be a paranormal story to tell it would be like oh someone took it i lost it it fell whatever but the fact that it was returned to me in the middle of the night and play beside my head I don't I don't know I don't know that's what happened and the next morning I, I was like oh yeah I found it it's fine like mm, no big deal and then after I left the trip I was like that was a ghost a spirit a hundred percent a spirit
definitely just messing up and then my boyfriend was like but why would a spirit want your pajamas and like they don't care about it being a pajamas they just want to mess with you like poltergeist and stuff like that they'll ransack your kitchen they don't care about forks and spoons they're not trying to make a meal they just want to mess with you they want to pull everything out they want to throw things around like it doesn't matter the object it's just that they just want to mess with you that's what i think it is and i hope people agree with me but if you don't i really would love to hear your explanation because like I said, I am a logical person I, and I try to weigh out every single possibility but this was the one that I, I'm i sticking to and that's what I think it is. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the story time. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to me to stay tuned for more and also comment below and tell me what you think because I really, really want to know. But I guess that's about it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!